Good afternoon, and welcome to the Reunion Blog, brought to you by Brown Sun Simmons. I'm your host, Valdez Brown, and it is Thursday afternoon, and today I want to talk to you guys about another tip, and today I want to talk about timing and location. Now, I really don't have any disclaimers for today, basically the information that I run by you guys on today as it relates to timing and location is pretty much information that you can find on online as it relates to family reunion tips, planning tips, and things of that nature. So, however, I do feel the need to mention some of these things because a lot of people that's checking out this blog are probably looking for ways to um, be successful with planning a reunion. So. I, want, I feel the need to emphasize on how important timing and um, location is. Now timing is really more, there's a general rule that you want to give yourself at least two years to plan your reunion. And especially if you're trying to bring the family back together for the first time, if you watch any of my other videos where I talk about bridging the gap and social media and things of that nature, you know, uh, you give yourself a two-year window, that'll give you some time to take care of some of those things. It costs money to plan a family reunion, and you want to make sure that you guys have enough time to come up with some type of fundraiser or, or work, however you decide to raise money. You know, there's plenty of ways that you can raise money for um, your family reunion needs, like having a website and, you know, banquet hall rentals if, if you want to go that route um hotels and things of that nature um so you want to give yourself at least two years and then you want to put together a committee committee of people that can actually help you resolve some of your daily tasks as it relates to planning the reunion now again like i said none of this stuff is new really it's information that's already out there. You can um, get this information online if you do a Google search. Now, I will say this, wherever you plan in your family reunion at, um, we're we'll talking about location now, make sure you guys contact the local conventions and the visitors bureau. Not all of them do, but majority of them have programs in place for family reunion planners, you know. They have, from top to bottom, planning tips on how to, you know, walk you through the process of planning your reunion. And one of the good things about it is they also have connections to where, wherever the city is that you're trying to host a reunion, they have tour guides and things of that nature that you can kind of tap into as far as planning and coming up with an agenda for your family members, all right? But another thing I want to talk about as far as location is, you want to think about where the majority of your family is located, all right? You want to make it to where their travel expenses is not that expensive, all right? So if you got family all over the place, then just kind of pick like a neutral location, but if the majority of your family is, I'll give you an example. If the majority of your family is in Detroit and you don't want to host a reunion in Detroit, I understand that. Then, you know, somewhere like Cincinnati, Columbus, you know, even Cleveland, you know, these are great locations to host a family reunion. All three cities have different things that you, that you could do that's catered towards reunion planners. So that's another thing that I wanted to mention to you guys as far as location. So make sure that you mindful of where your family is coming from. Now, if they scattered all over the country, then you kind of want to, you know, take that into consider consideration as far as thinking of a neutral location so everybody can kind of have a distance to go to. You know, they say, when you're planning a reunion, you should offer some type of reward for that one family member or for those 
that come to far, travel the farthest to be there. And that's true. You know, you want to make your family feel appreciated for traveling to the event. All right? So another thing with location, you want to uh, make sure that wherever you host the reunion at, that the hotels can actually accommodate you. Like for an example, if you hosting a reunion in Cincinnati, obviously Cincinnati is a great city to have a family reunion, but you want to make sure you pick a, lo a, a location as far as hotel that have amenities in place to accommodate you or your family members. So say for an example, if you're planning on having a family reunion banquet, most re reunion planners do, and they utilize their conference room that the hotel has to offer and they hold the reunion there. Now, some hotels have their own catering, some hotels don't. They just have the room and you're responsible for the catering. Now, you want to take that into consideration when you're thinking about location as far as hotel. You also want to take into consideration pricing. So I'm going to talk to you guys about pricing in my next video as it relates to um, uh, as it relates to everything from hotels and and um, you know amenities um, things that you can do um, services that you may be interested in like t-shirts and photography and things of that nature so I'm, I'm kind of really going to get into depth as it relates to pricing because I want you guys to understand the importance of pricing your registration package correctly as it relates to trying to bring a family together for the first time. Now, if you're a seasoned reunion planner, this is something that you may not be interested in. But if you on this chance are, if you on this blog and you've been following this blog, you're trying to get as much information as you possibly can as it relates to trying to be successful planning your family reunion. All right? So, again, guys, I cover timing and I cover location. Again, you wanna to try to give yourself at least two years to plan your event. That way you can come up with fundraisers and ways to raise money, you know, things of that nature. And there's many ways, so you can Google fundraising ideas and you can find a bunch of ideas that you can tap into. So I'm not really gonna get into that, all right? So there you have it, folks. That's all I got for today's video. This is the Reunion Blog brought to you by Brown Sense Imaging. I'm your host, Valdez Brown. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy reunion planning. Peace.